To beat racism, we need to learn foreign languages. And in today's video, I will explain to you why. Hi, my name is Olga Rojas and this is Live and Wear Any channel. I'm a Russian living in the US with my Latino husband and our two kids. We speak three different languages in our household. Russian, Spanish and English are our lifestyle. If you ask me if I ever experienced racism myself, I would definitely tell you yes. I wasn't hired to several jobs just because I have an accent. I was treated as a Russian female in the US. I'm not sure if you understand what I mean, but I hope you do. My husband is a Latino, so he's got his stories to tell. In my humble opinion, racism is not that touches just one group of people. It's actually much bigger than that. I went to New York City a couple of days ago and what I saw was depressing. New York City is our home. A melting pot of cultures is still fighting against racism in our 21st century. I sat on the bench in Washington Square Park and I was watching people protesting and I was searching for the answer. What is the cure for racism? I came up with a very simple answer. Languages. Learning foreign languages is the cure for racism. And now I will explain to you why. First of all, when you are learning a foreign language, you develop a special sense of respect for other cultures and nationalities. People who learn foreign languages are much more open-minded in terms of what group of people, what ethnic, what race they belong to, where their home is. The most difficult question for me is, where are you from? Every time I'm asked this question, I might look very confused because I simply don't know how to answer that question. But what I do know is that I'm from the planet Earth. With two languages comes a wider cultural experience, greater tolerance of cultural difference, and as a consequence of all that, less racism. Within any language, there is a kaleidoscope of culture. Monolinguals may be able to experience some margins of kaleidoscope of other cultures. To experience fully the inner color of kaleidoscope of cultures, you need to have a knowledge of a language. One major difference between animals and humans is language. Through language, a child is cared for, cherished, and culture. One barrier between nations and cultures tend to be a language. And it is sometimes a barrier in communication and in building and creating friendly relationships. Bilinguals in the community and in society can lower those barriers. They can be bridges within the community and across society. Those who speak two languages and more symbolize the essential humanity of building bridges between people of different color, creed, culture, and language. Bilinguals have a role of diplomats and not dividers. People often feel that their language and their culture is far superior to others. So to avoid that feeling, you need to learn foreign languages. You will broaden your horizons, open up more, and obtain the world where there are fewer barriers and more bridges. So now tell me in the comments, what language are you going to learn? Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Live and Wear Neat. And don't forget, hate cannot drive out of hate. Only love can do that. Live and Wear Neat is signing off and I will see you in the next videos. Bye.